the Kiapa M19 carbine. Let's check it out. Kiapa Firearms is based out of Italy and they make an M1 carbine in 9mm. Uh, they make a standard walnut stock, I mean pretty much very similar to the standard old M1 carbine that was used during World War II, Korea, Vietnam. But this is in 9mm. Uh, this one in particular is a new model. It is their modern black rifle or their MBR. Uh, this one has a lot of just different features to it that kind of update it from the original. But one thing that's really big about this carbine is it does take Beretta M9 magazines. And one of the big advantages of having an M1 carbine in 9mm is the price of the ammo and the availability. 30 carbines, great. It's got a little more ballistics to it, but 9mm is super plentiful. And so it's really neat to be able to put together something that, again, has those Beretta magazines and mimics the old Warhorse. And one of my favorite rifles is the M1 carbine. I mean, these things are great. They're a lot of fun at the range. Uh, they're kind of a medium caliber, but man, they just shoot really well. And it's just an iconic piece of history. But then again, the Kiapa M19, <laughs> it's just in nine millimeter. And again, you can go with that standard configuration or you can up your game with the MBR. Now we featured the Kiapa M19 on our recent Get Zone Father's Day gift guide for 2022. Um, and man, this was a lot of fun to shoot. And so I just wanted to take it out and do a full review on it. And we also appreciate Kiapa for sending the rifle for this review. But check out GetZone.com. It is a strong Second Amendment video platform. Now the M19 is the standard length of 36 inches, which is the same for your M1 carbines in 30 caliber. This again is a special version with the modern black rifle version. And of course it has a black stock. It does have an epoxy finish on it. Uh, and it does have a little bit of texturing on it just to give you a good solid grip on it. Magazine release is in the same place as your original. Just comes right out. Again, you have your Beretta 92 mags. Uh, these are 10 round mags and you have a little dimple there and it comes with two of these. And these are Metgar mags, but guys, the 92 mags are so plentiful. Then let's check the chamber and the gun's empty. Uh, one of the things I first noticed is that the, the pull of the chamber, pulling this back, is a lot shorter to accommodate the 9mm than the 30 caliber. Now with the Kiapa, it's a little different than your standard M1 carbine. Uh, it typically just has an op rod that comes back and, you know, of course it's a little bit longer. Uh, this one is a blowback action and it actually has two rods that come on either side just to give it strength. And here, like on your standard M1 carbine, you have your safety. Of course, your trigger guard, and you have your magwell. Now we have a Picatinny rail section on the back, and that's for your flip-up sights. Uh, the original model with the walnut stocks on the Kiapa uh, has one of the standard aperture type sights that you find on your regular carbine. Then we have a Picatinny rail that runs all the way to the front, and then you have a flip-up sight at the front. And again, this just gives you that AR-15 sight picture. Uh, but the rail you can put you know any kind of red dot on here and it just allows you to be able to put optics on this rifle then at the bottom we have a pick rail uh, and you can put obviously a bipod on here or lights or lasers the barrel shroud smooth at the front and then you have knurling at the back then you have a small little cap here at the front of the handguard now the barrel shroud is actually removable and you have these knurls here you're able just to twist this off there's threads on the end of the barrel and then there's a cushioning gasket on the back that makes this solid but you can just take this right off now with the shroud removed we do have the barrel and it is threaded so this is possible a candidate for for muzzle device or suppressor 
and so it just gives you some options. And actually it makes it look a lot like a Mini 14. So it doesn't take away, if you don't like the shroud, you can definitely switch it out very easily. And also you still have your sights. And the barrel is 19 inches. The rear of your receiver has that same type screw set up with the stock that your M1 carbine has. And at the back of the stock we have a rubberized butt pad. A lot different than the metal butt pad on the M1 carbine. Now when it comes to ballistics, you know, we're talking about just a 115 grain target load versus the 110 grain 30 caliber full metal jacket. Uh, one of the things about this round is it has more case capacity. They're both rimless. Uh, this one is actually 7.8 millimeter while you have 9 millimeter here. 30 caliber or 35.5 caliber. But the ballistics of a 30 caliber coming out of the end of a barrel is 1,960 feet per second. Then when you go to the 9 millimeter with a barrel 18 inches, it's about 1,231 feet per second. So you have a pretty significant advantage with 30 caliber. And the muzzle energy is 967 foot-pounds versus 405 foot-pounds with your 9mm. And that's out of an 18-inch barrel. But the fact is, is the 9mm is considerably cheaper than your 30 caliber. And again, more plentiful. And we really appreciate Fioki for sponsoring our ammo, one of the largest suppliers of ammunition in the country and made right here in the USA. And we also appreciate Lula Loaders for saving our thumbs. The Maglula is the bomb. So we took the Kiapa M19 down to the range. Uh, guys, 9mm is so easy. Um, whenever I do a review of anything 30 caliber, you know, it's just more expensive and it's just harder to find. Um, and then with the M19, I mean, you've got all the same features that you have on your standard original carbine. And yet, you know, it's just cheaper to shoot. The blowback action is mild. Uh, it has that rubber butt pad on it, which <laughs> the original carbine has a steel butt pad. Uh, all the same features, but yet you've got it upgraded with the sights. Again, we've got more AR-15 type aperture sights. Uh, you have a plenty of places to put rails and accessories. And then with this barrel shroud at the end, I mean, it gives it a little bit of weight on the end of the rifle, which makes it just softer to shoot. Then again, you can go back to the standard Kiapa M19. Uh, that's more like the traditional M1 carbine. And so it kind of gives you a lot of options. Uh, one of the things we did have an issue with right at first was the magazines that were provided, and I'm sure these are Metgar mags, uh, we had no issues whatsoever with reliability. Uh, when we first put a couple of the Beretta mags in it, we did have a couple of issues. But once we shot through that, uh, you know, we didn't have any issues later on. We went back to the Kiapa mags, no problems. Uh, then when we went to the Beretta mags a little bit later, and it was probably about 150 rounds. Uh, just seem to work out all the little kinks. Guys, when these rifles are made a lot of times, things just happen. But with this, uh, after that, we had no malfunctions with either type mag. And that gives you a lot of options with mag compatibility since Beretta produces a lot of different mag capacities. Of course, with the Picatinny rail out front, you could put a red dot on that. You could put a long eye relief scope. Uh, we chose to shoot it as is, which we like to do, and it's still got really good accuracy. But guys, the overall function of both of these rifles, they're really close. And the old M1 carbine, I mean, these have really risen in price considerably over the past few years, getting up to the $1,200, $1,300, $1, $1,400 range. Uh, this is a U.S. postal meter, and, you know, this is a vintage 1943 M1 carbine, probably used during World War II, again, in Korea and even in Vietnam, and used all around the world. Uh, but one of the things about this, it has that longer action, and it's a little bit slick, um, but it does house that 30 caliber cartridge. But now when the magazine's inserted, there's no last round bolt hold. But when you bring it back, you can hit this little button right here on the charging handle. And that does give you a way to be able to lock this back. Of course, the original aperture sights on the Kiapa that is more like the original, it does have these same type sights and the front, and it even has a bayonet lug, which this one has. And so it is more of a closer copy of the original M1 carbine than the MBR. But the MBR does give you a lot of modern features that you're not gonna have on a standard M1 carbine. 
and one of those is a scope mount. Uh, you can get them, but you have to modify the rifle typically. And then also, there's no Picatinny rail. There's no way to put accessories on here. But this is still a great rifle. And again, guys, they're both exactly 36 inches in overall length. And while I haven't actually tried this, from what I understand, the Kiapa action will fit into the original M1 carbine stock. And that's not really surprising, really, considering that they are making the M1 carbine kind of standard configuration. But the M1 carbine action will not fit in the Kiapa stock. But I think that has to do with the 9mm and the op rod and the springs that go here that are not present in the Kiapa M19. The weight on the original M1 carbine is 6 pounds. Uh, the weight on the Kiapa M19 is 7 pounds 5 ounces. And a lot of that probably has to do with this barrel shroud and a few other features in the pick rail. And it is a little bit of a heavier action with the blowback action. So if you're going to buy one of the standard Kiapas in this walnut stock, uh, it's probably going to weigh a little bit more than your standard 30 caliber carbine. Now Beretta M9 mags are plentiful. Uh, this is a surplus mag and you can find these a lot of times at gun shows. Uh, and then we have, you know, a more higher capacity. This goes up to 18 rounds and they make higher capacity magazines for Berettas. And so, you know, you do have some decent capacity with these mags. Uh, with the M1 carbine mags, you know, this is an aftermarket mag. The original mag that's in the rifle right now is a surplus mag, and it's parkerized. And those are getting pretty pricey. And then we have your standard 30-round magazine that actually was used in the M2, which was their full automatic version. But the magazines are going to be more expensive with the M1, whereas with the M9, you know, they're going to be just more plentiful and easier to find, just like the ammo. Now, the Kiapa M19s in the walnut stock, more traditional toward the standard M1, they run about $550. Uh, I've just seen some different prices. Uh, when it comes to the MBR, uh, of course, with the upgraded accessories, these run around the $800 range. Uh, but here's the thing, guys. Your standard M1 carbines right now, again, are running about $1,200, $1,300. It's according to what you're looking for. And so this is a less expensive way, even with the MBR, to get into an M1 carbine that shoots 9mm. And again, easier to find with Beretta mags. And plus, you're getting a new rifle instead of a worn out surplus rifle. So guys, if you've been wanting an M1 carbine, but you just can't afford it because the prices of the surplus M1s have gone very high, up to twelve, thirteen hundred dollars $1,300. Uh, buying something that's a very similar and yet it goes with that nine millimeter it makes it cheaper to shoot so you have a lower cost on both the gun and the ammo and so it was really nice to see Kiapa stepping up and offering the M19 whether you go with the modern black rifle version or you go with the traditional version it does give you some options and again we appreciate Kiapa for sending the M19 MBR for this review and also to Get Zone for putting all this together. Check out Get Zone. They are a friendly Second Amendment video platform. And Lord knows we need it. Rubber Dummies is one of the best training tools on the market. And you get a 10% discount using Suit00 when you click the link down in the description. Be strong. Be of good courage. God bless America. Long live the Republic. same length as your standard M14 from the gases that come and directly impact your okay, walnut stock versions. Uh, I've seen them about 450. Nope, not 450. 30 calibine. That 30 calibine. That 30 cal. That's all, folks. <laughs>